Hey gang, Derek here, back in the lands between, uh, just checking out the view here of our giant mausoleum turtle thing that I haven't a breeze how to actually, uh, reach. <laughs> and, uh, I have no idea how to get onto him. Don't think I'm meant to yet, anyway. I think he's, uh, he's for a bit later in the game. I found this, or I didn't find, I bought, I bought this, um, info somewhere. I can remember where that's kept in the inventory here. Walking mausoleum. To stop the mausoleum stride, you'll need to clean up around its feet first. Not entirely sure what that means. I think it means, I think it's referring to these glowing enemies. Um that are kind of in this area, and I think you're just meant to kill all of them, or maybe, sorry, maybe some of them, or an X number of them, or whatever, but they're kind of hard, so yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I am aware of this turtle thing. And we will deal with him at some point. Oh, I have been hanging around the Weeping Peninsula for the last couple of days, just scouting, mostly looking for things to do on the stream. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to look at Castle Morn uh, in this stream. And my goal is to not necessarily complete Castle Morn, but at least to get to what I assume is the boss at the end of it, because this is, this is trying to lead us somewhere. Um, and my other goal is to actually tackle Margus and beat him. That's my plan. But we'll have to make a detour before that. Before we get there so we're gonna stop we're gonna start here i'm gonna start here at the castle morn ramparts because i want to show you the bullshit required to actually get into the castle in the first place so the grace is telling us to go this way oh boy okay he's new <laughs> i guess he's only here at night time because he hasn't been here during the day Let's let him walk fast, or uh, canter, no. Walk, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, I guess he's only here at nighttime, all right. Because I did see him the first time I came in and then I hadn't seen him since, but there he is. So here's the bullshit. There's the castle, we want to go to the castle, right? So let's, let's just go, let's head to the castle. Let's do that. Is it gonna turn out that this enemy Okay, <laughs> I guess this enemy happens to be one that uh, doesn't respawn. So there was an enemy placed right at the outside of the castle, right at the bottom of the steps. Big tall enemy, uh, Archer, that would snipe you on the way here, and his snipe might be generous. He catapulted Ballista Trebuchet at you, basically. His arrows were enormous and hit very hard. But yeah, you kind of have to like weave your way around the environment and like duck behind things to make your way up. I was going to do it again, but I guess he doesn't return. So that sucks. Or, well, it sucks and it's also good. Because <laughs> it means we don't have to deal with him again. So that's always good. Anyway. All right, Castle Morn. So on the way into the peninsula, we were given... We talked to a woman who had fled from Castle Morn and she gave us... This letter given by Irina, addressed to her father, the commander of Castle Morn, a gorgeous silken handkerchief lightly stained with blood, words can be made out within. So it's a letter written on one of her handkerchiefs, I guess. Um, we can't read it, but she's asked us to give it to her father, who's somewhere in the castle. And this is as far as I got. I sat down here just to get that gray sight, um, and that's as far as I've done in the castle. So you're going to see my first excursion, incursion, I guess, technically, into the castle. Uh, Character-wise, Bob has... I don't think I've leveled up a huge amount. I don't actually remember what level we stopped at. But I'm twenty level 29 now. I'm pushing mind a bit more because I want more FP. Um, I want more FP because I want to be able to summon more powerful ashes. And I can't do that at the moment. Um, I'm also probably going to start pushing strength because there is a weapon I would like to use. 
which is uh, this, the scythe. And I need, oh wait, maybe not this scythe. Maybe with something else. Because yes, I need strength for it, but also I need a shit ton of faith, which I don't have. Was it the spear? No, that's also faith. Huh. All right, maybe I did mean the scythe, but I guess I didn't realize it needed that faith score. So fuck that, I guess. Uh, we will need more strength going forward anyway, just to pick up um, like other weapons because they do require a, a small level of strength to be able to wield them in the first place. We've also, I've also put some points into this flail. I'm using this mostly for enemies that are resistant to piercing attacks, which is the guys that are on, like in the mine, they're all like, they have rock basically for skin. So the s stock just bounces off them. I get one attack in and then I'm like vulnerable to being attacked again. So that's not fun. So I have, Put some points into the flail for that purpose. Okay, it's this. I need uh, I need more int for this weapon. But I'm not sure if it'll actually be any better. But a higher int anyway will help our magic, so it's something to it's something to put points into regardless. Um there might be some armor. This is actually really heavy armor that I <laughs> that I hadn't really realized it was so heavy, but it's it's this armor is most of the reason why we're not able to equip any other armor because it's so heavy but I haven't found anything to replace it and I haven't found any new body armor either which is really annoying because I'm getting kind of bored getting kind of bored of this armor anyway let's move into Castle Morn why not so I'm kind of hoping that Castle Morn is the first legacy dungeon that I'll encounter in the game so the legacy dungeons are like, like areas from Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, like that kind of thing. They're meant to be like those kind of areas that you would see in those games. Okay, so lots of guys. They are worshipping something. I assume horse... Doesn't want to come here. All right, no horse for here. That's fine. Seek right. Is that just so I can get a sneak attack in? Maybe? So these guys are demi-humans. I fought a few of them now. I found their boss. <laughs> and ran away from their boss. Because <laughs> he was... Uh, he himself was not difficult. The um, the actual problem was that there were so many, f so many friends with him was the real issue. That's a dog. I don't like dogs. Well, I mean, I do like dogs, but I don't like Dark Souls dogs. So let's see if I can kill him in one attack. No. I knew there'd be another one. There's always another one. Miyazaki, you bastard. Tried to get me. All right, smithing stone. That will be useful to upgrade our S-talk a bit further. Why does this always happen? When I want to jump on top of tables, they just they just fall apart. It's okay. Nobody can hear us destroy this whole area. Okay. All right. Is there an item up here? Do I want to go up there for any reason? No? What is that? I don't like the look of that thing. <laughs> hey, Melwin. What kind of doggo is that? An angry one. A very angry dog. A very, very angry dog. You can also hear more grunting from over here. Yeah, there's a dog there. There's a dog there. There's a dog there. Fucking hell. Okay, this area might be might be fun. I think we're gonna have to take out at least some of these enemies. Like the more humanoid ones are easier to deal with, so let's deal with them instead. All right, that's one. 
<laughs> this is gonna this is gonna take a while. Doesn't look like Mr. Peanut Butter. No, no, Mr. Peanut Butter would be a much better dog. He'd actually help me probably. I don't want to waste too much magic, so I'll give him like one or two shots, maybe one shot. Okay, so you so see like these guys have like vestigial wings on their back. Some of these demi-humans have full wings. Uh, I'm kind of hoping we don't encounter any of them because they're annoying to fight. Come here to me. That's getting very close. <laughs> okay. Message was appraised. Nice. It would be nice if they told you what message, because I've left some I've left some helpful ones, but I've also left some just stupid messages as well, so it would be nice to know which ones they actually appraised. You think they'd notice I'm killing off all their guys, but I guess they're maybe they're a bit stupid. All right, and now last. Nope, hang on. There's one more. Oh, that's a dog. We'll ignore him. All right, the big guy. He looks like a big guy, anyway. Yeah, he's a big guy. Come on, yeah. Take your time getting to me. That's fine. Yeah, of course the dog comes over now. Shit, I'm out of magic. All right, the dog has to die quickly. <laughs> Shit! Alright. I can tank maybe one attack from this guy. Not two. It's very helpful they come one at a time. That's it, Garner. How's it going? They have a terrible perception, I guess. They don't notice all of their friends are dying. Okay. Just pick up all these butterflies for no reason. Are there any items in this pyre other than meat, I guess? Fire grease. That guy still hasn't noticed everyone's died, but that's fine. Treasure chest ahead. I bet that's a lie, but we'll find out. Who's protecting the treasure chest? Let's get some magic back. Well, there's the chest. No trap, huh? That means there is a trap. Okay, no, there's no trap. <laughs> a claymore! Of course, another strength weapon! Sake. All this game gives me is strength weapons. I don't think I've encountered a single proper dexterity weapon. Well, there's our claymore. Okay, it does have a nice big stab, but yeah, we're not using it. I can't use it properly anyway. Back to the S-Dock. Any enemies waiting down here? There's a bloodstain, so something killed him. I don't know no, that's not. That's not. Um, it's not a far enough fall for it to have killed him. So, yeah, something in here killed him. I think that knight is dead, or. <laughs> All right, let's bring you in. One at a time. I've also remembered that I have a shield, and I'm actually using it now. This shield is pretty good because it has, I was reading its stats wrong, but it, over on the right, or in the middle on the right, it has guarded damage negation as 100, which means entirely physical damage uh, is negated. No. <laughs> Why did you wait? He waited for me to come in here to kill him. Weird. 
Lord's here. Can I knock him off too? Yeah, go on. Go on. Go on. To hide the bodies. See ya. Bye. Okay. Nope. Can't break that. Okay. Upstairs. Up ladder. I hope Bob is decent underneath his cassock skirts. I don't know. What do you call the tabard? Tabard. All right, so fun times going on in there. Let's ignore that. <laughs> you guys deal with each other. That's fine by me. I'll go up here. I get the ruins regardless. <laughs> that is cruel. <laughs> Look, he would have wanted it. I gave him back to the sea. That was a... Uh... He wanted a, a, a sea death. Have his ashes scattered. Okay, I missed the step where he wanted to be cremated first, but... I can't do everything for him. Okay. It's like a shortcut to get here. Maybe? There's a lot of bloodstains. I wonder, does, is this drop lethal? No? Seems okay. Why all the bloodstains? Ah, that's why! <laughs> that's why! Shit. Whew. Where were you hiding, you little shit? Okay, we'll check that out in a minute. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of dead guys. Alright, just see there's a guy perched on the wall as well. Let's deal with him. After this, oh, there's two of them. Ow. Okay, not not great, not great. Two archers. Nice. That's one. Come down here and fight me. <laughs> oh, you dick. He did cut. He did come down here and fight me. I deserve that. Uh, you playing on Xbox or PC? I am playing on PlayStation 5, Garner. <clears throat> okay, so now we know there are two flying archer assholes. I forgot to sit down at that uh, bonfire, or side of grace, whatever. We'll sit down at it this time. I should have healed instead of going in and trying to kill him. Alright, let's sit down at it this time. Is there anything under the lift? No. Wait. No, that's death. Okay. Uh, lever. Haven't picked this up yet, but wondering what it's like with keyboard and mouse rather than controller. Um, you can bind a lot more things to the keyboard, so, you know, you do have access to, like, different items and whatever, but, um, yeah. Like, it's not a very twitchy or fast-paced game, so I imagine it's probably fine on keyboard and mouse. But yeah, I don't know. I've only ever played it on controller. Okay, send that back down for next time. Because I'm prob probably going to die again. Okay. Do you think I could just sprint my way past these guys? Maybe? I just leg it? I think I can just leg it. I'm going to try and just leg it. Getting stuck doesn't help. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. <laughs> Did anybody follow me? Yes. All right. 
Did anybody else follow me? Okay, no. Okay, only one guy follows, so that's probably that's probably fine. All right. Uh, again, <laughs> let's pull one in. And apparently, this other guy is just going to annihilate uh, this guy, so that's fine. Yeah, kill yourself as well. Damn it, close. Bleep. And he pushed his corpse off for me, so that was nice. Ah! <laughs> Where did you come from? Shit. Ah. Finally, fall out of the sky, dickhead. Okay, I guess two guys followed me. Where did he come from? Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, Elden Ring. Okay, let's try to get our runes back at least. These guys are still trying to annihilate each other, so that's fine. Knock yourselves out. Okay, now where is this enemy that just ambushed me? As soon as I dropped off. Because I didn't see him at all. Is he there? It must be that one. Yeah, it's that one. And he just comes right... Yeah, he just comes right running at you. Fair enough. Alright, that headbutt move's annoying, but it doesn't, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay. Let's pull you. Okay, let's get our runes back. Just in case we die a second time. Oh yeah, see me immediately, do you? That's great. Even though I was crouched. That's, that's bullshit. I think that other guy died. <laughs> I think he fell off. Excellent. Alright then. Did he die? Keep my shield up just in case. Maybe he went down to join the rest of his friends. Alright, golden rune. Not worth much. Don't see anybody. Another ladder down. Alright. Lots of, like, intricate ways to go here. So this is what they mean by the legacy dungeons, is that, like, the older Dark Souls and Bloodborne's Demon Souls and such all had levels that kind of wrapped around each other. Lots of different ways to go and shortcuts back to old areas and that kind of thing. So that's what the, that's what the legacy dungeons are meant to be. There's a side of grace, nice. Yep. It's probably a mistake. Don't know how I get back up there, but okay. Figure it out. Okay. Uh, don't have enough to level up, so let's keep going. Try jumping. No. <laughs> no, that's death. Can I go this way? No. Is this a trick? Is this a trick area? This might be a trick. <laughs> this might be a trick side of grace. I don't think there's any way back out. Oh wait, never mind. There's a way down here. That's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him to give you an area you can't actually escape from. Jumping. Jumping. Oh yeah, okay. Anything over here? Which way to go? Which way to go? Both of them are you can't get back from. 
I'm gonna go this way. We'll go this way and just teleport back to the side of Grace. That was the better option. That's a very important item to have. Okay, I don't think there's another way. Yeah, we can't make that jump. I can hear twinkling noise. So one of those dung beetles is around here somewhere. Iron Cleaver. What do you think? You think it's another strength weapon? I think it's another strength weapon. It's another strength weapon. Of course it is. One of these days I'll get a dex weapon. One of these days. Alright. Guy trying to ambush me from inside the door? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, not inside the door. Just here. Uh, it's goos. It's weird goo things. Okay, hang on. Fire pot. I could have done. I could have done more damage. Really, that would have been nicer. Yeah. Okay. These enemies continue to be. Just leave them alone because they take too long to kill. Okay. Does he have a friend? Probably. Okay, he did not have a friend. Pickle turtle? No, oh, you shit! God damn it! God damn it, Elden Ring! Get me out of this. Every time. Ugh. All right, I want to talk to that guy, but not while the goo is here. Sake. All right, more goo. No thanks. There's a drop down there. We'll go back to in a second. Does he have a friend? Don't see any. You swing your fucking thing already. Sake. Alright. Can I break this? No. Okay. The goos are slowly making their way back up to us. You can do it, goo. You can do it. You can't climb off this ladder after me, though. <laughs> I hope, I hope the goo can't climb this ladder. Right. Any goo waiting to drop on top of me again? This treasure chest. Is it trapped? It is not trapped. Twin blade talisman. All right, what is that? Talisman depicting a twin blade and a confessor enhances the final hit ending a chain of attacks. The twin blade technique is a tradition of the confessors who closely guarded the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. This is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. I mean, it's basics. You just... Just wait at the bottom for me? Yeah. That would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait, no. That's the, that's the axe enemy. Okay, can we get up to the next level? Nope. Alright, that must be... You have to go into the inside of the tower. So the twin blade, like... To preserve their momentum thing is just... Basic... Kinetics? I don't think you'd be able to... Hide that technique exactly. Okay, so we drop off onto that roof. Pardon me? Pardon me, goo. Alright. 
There's another way down. That twinkling noise is getting louder. We're getting closer to whatever it is. All right, all of those, all of those spots are death. It's close, whatever it is. That was absolutely not worth it, but okay. There he is. Nice, all right, we got some of our flasks back for killing him. On the other hand, no. Why do I keep thinking I'm trapped? I'm never trapped. There's always a way out. Okay. Gotta make sure <laughs> make sure we make that jump. All right. Did I get a magic flask back? I did. Okay. Good. All right. Blood stain. So, did something attack him, or did he just run off the cliff? Okay, looks like he plummeted to his death. Yep, he plummeted to his death. Okay. Anybody waiting for us? No. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're gonna die down there, too. <laughs> we're gonna die doing that, too. Oh, well, there's a boss over there. Okay. This'll be fun. All right, smithing stone. Yeah, good. Lining this up is always the problem. The camera doesn't can't, can't quite get a complete top-down view with the camera. See if you're in the right spot. Ugh. Be wary of beating to a pulp. Excellent. There's more than one enemy down. Oh, there's a dog. No, it's a rat. Can I hit them from here? Nice. <laughs> Good luck getting me, dickhead. All right, come out where I can see it. <laughs> ah, there's another rat. All right, any other friends? Any other friends down here before I drop in? Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Yep. Sure are. Shit. I thought there was a third one moving, but it was actually the corpse, so that's okay. All right. Okay, that's probably a dex weapon. A whip, you would think. Whip. All right. It's worse than what we have, but it is, in fact, a dexterity weapon. All right. All right. What kind of range does it have, though? Hard to tell what its range is like. Two-handed whip. Does it have an extra attack on the second one? Maybe? Big ol' swing. Dual-wielding whips would be, <laughs> would be pretty funny, but I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't know. We'll put we'll put some of the smaller smithing stones into it and see if it's any good. It's not gonna compare with the S talk right now, because S talk's a plus four, so. Alright, who's waiting? Who's waiting? Who's coming to kill me? Anybody hanging off the roof? Any blob waiting to just land on top of my head? Really? A big wide open area with no enemies in it? I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Is there a big enemy gonna drop out of the sky on top of me? You think you think I'm joking about that, but it does happen. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Up ahead, butthole. 
All right, jellyfish. We're getting pretty close to the boss, ish. There's probably more than one boss in this area, I would think. Grace ahead. Try jumping. All right, good. So this is the the gray spot for the boss. Anyway. Um, hmm. Yep. More jellyfish. How many souls do I have? Not a lot. No, it's like less than half what I need to level up. Slightly more than half, actually, but I don't think I have enough stored. Actually, I might. I might have enough stored. Oops. Uh, I need 3,000, basically. This is a 6, so that's... 1,200, I think? Oh, that's 2,000. I was very wrong. Alright, not using one, another one of them. The one after it should probably do the trick, then. It's a four. Alright, that'll do it. Level up. Uh, yeah, I'm putting my- I'm gonna put mine up to 20, basically, and then I'll stop. Alright, let's see what the boss is about. Pick up some more butterflies, why not? You need, uh, well, you need smoldering butterflies to make, well, to make a lot of things, but I use them to make these fire pots. Grenades. What was that? Okay. You think this bridge breaks? I bet this bridge breaks. I'm just gonna run for it. Okay, no, it doesn't. Alright, friends. Many, many friends. And I bring you forward first. Damn it. Ow. Okay. Alright, and then this guy... <laughs> I can see the arrow is stuck in me. Oh, of course you, you were right here when I woke up. All right, we'll kill him. We'll kill him, get the stuff that's here, <laughs> go back to the crazy size. That was not worth it. I can just make them. Ugh. What's down here? Jellyfish. Crabs. There's an item over there. Okay. Somber smithing stone. All right, that is actually worth it. There you are for the more powerful weapons, like boss weapons. That's into the boss arena. Jellyfish, I think as long as you leave them alone, they leave you alone. So let's do that. Are they protecting anything? No. I think they're mostly there that if you happen to fall off, they'll probably gang up on you. Crabs. As long as there isn't a big crab, we're okay. Speak of the devil? <laughs> Hello, giant crab. Ow. Help me, jellyfish. All right. 
What are you guys protecting? No item, yeah, 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 okay. All right, uh, so teleport, <laughs> teleport back to the site of grace so we can get our health back. Get our health and our flasks back. Have a nice sit. So instead of going over to these enemies, we're just going to drop off the bridge. And head into the boss. Try summoning. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon. I have some um, dogs, basically. Leonine Misbegotten. Okay, Leonine Misbegotten. Get him, doggos. Shit. When you're ready, doggos. Any moment. Thank you. He's got a spin to win move. Ow. Get him, dog friends. He'll remember I exist in a minute. Yeah, he's remembered I exist. He's angry. He's got the red eyes out. He's angry. Trouble, trouble. No, you gotta die. <laughs> Stop avoiding me. Stop it. Shit. Good job, doggos. I did it. Did it all by myself. I had no help whatsoever. Grafted Blade Greatsword. Another strength weapon. Another strength weapon, wouldn't you know it. With no help whatsoever, I beat that boss. Okay. Yeah, strength 40, wow. That's a weapon, though. <laughs> Magic doggy win. No, no, it was me. I did it. Nobody helped. Whoa. Whoa. That's a weapon. No, uh, this one. Okay. I'm not sure what the, uh, special attack is on this. Oath of Vengeance. Okay. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret, one of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. And your oath of vengeance is swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. Okay, so that's just... Looked like a block. I think it is, um, it's a buff. It's just I don't have any magic, and uh, I don't have any FP left. But if I have a sit, I will get some back. All right. So I'd say it's like, it's a buff attack. Never mind. All right, it might just be, yeah, you're right. I think it is a block then. I think it's a... Uh, you call it it's almost like super armor you can just tank tank one hit maybe or it might be that i'm just so under leveled for the weapon that you just don't even get the the benefit from it 
Card counter. Didn't expect weak foe. He wasn't that weak. I needed all of my all of my power to beat him. Although I'm probably low level for this area, but whatever. All right, anything else out here? All right, great enemy has been felled. That's a lot of corpses. Lots of corpses. They just got fed up digging any graves and just threw them on top of the old graves. Okay, then. So we have stuff still pointing towards the castle, so there's probably more... Well, I mean, there's definitely more in here. Uh, let's go back to this one. Go back to this one, and there was an area we could have jumped to. Drop down. Oh wait, can I level up? No. It's fine. How far am I off on level up? Nah. Okay. So we gotta make the jump. Success. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's death. Okay. And dropping down. don't see any enemies. That doesn't mean there aren't any enemies. Hang on, I do see one. Okay, I see a enemy. An enemy? An, an enemy? By himself? Looks like he's by himself. Oh wait, this is the blob room. Okay, we've actually done this already. But I can talk to this guy at least. Please help me, I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please, think of the disgrace. Well, I've got bad news for you, chief. Alright, well... Guess we're going back to this one. <laughs> As we've done that area already. Okay. I might as well use up these souls since we're here. Um, 1300 ish. So, one of these. I keep forgetting they're 2000. I meant to use the other one. Oh well. Forgot I still had one. Alright. So we still have to find the captain of the guard. He's around here somewhere. Maybe. And uh, we have a letter to give him. So where to go? We had to drop down to get that side of grace earlier. So we could have kept going. So I think we'll do that. See if we get how many of these guys we can run past again. Alright, how many of you followed me? Alright, one of you decided, two of you decided to follow me. Ah, oh, you! Are you coming? Coming to get me? Thinking about it? No? Giving up, going home? Giving up? Maybe? Going home? He's going home. Okay, that's fine. Alright. And another guy randomly attacked me last time, and I don't think it was one of them. But it must have been, because... I know, it must have been. Anyway. Okay, and we'll... Pop in here so that they trigger this fight. And run back out so he doesn't see me. 
Oh, he stayed alive a little this time. Good for him. That's a shame. <laughs> Things were going all right for him. Yeah, walk off. Now, show me your back. There you go. You idiot. It. A knight nearly won that fight. He got very close. Alright, that's definitely death. Let this be grace. No, it's not. <laughs> the melee continues. Is there any reason for me to engage here? There's an item all the way over there. There's an item all the way over there. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Let's keep going. Get out of the air. Get back down there. There you go. Dumbass. Steel wire torch. Alright, that might that might actually be worth something. Steel wire torch. Is it a weapon? It's a weapon? Torch wound with metal wire. The flame can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. And you can do a flamethrower, basically. Blow into torch flame, spreading flame in a wide frontward arc. So we got... Right, so you can attack with it. You can stab somebody with it. No, hang on. Or you can make a little flamethrower thing. It will not, it will not be as strong as the S-Duck, so... Back to the S-Duck. Wow, you guys did it. Good job. I've trapped myself in here now. <laughs> Alright then. Time to kill off some of these guys. He's got nothing left. They survived just long enough for me to kill them. I attack faster than you do! I attack faster than you do! <laughs> That's why the S-Dock is called the best dock. It attacks quickly. Quickly and in a straight line. So it doesn't get, um... Doesn't ping off the wall or anything like that. Any weapons that do slashing attacks tend to smack off the wall. Okay, there's an item over there, and a ladder. We didn't take the ladder down, actually, last time, either. We might finish out the, um, the ramparts, and then see what we're doing after that. I do forget they have that headbutt thing. Interrupts me, interrupts my attacks. Damn it, just out of range. Okay, archer guys, be careful with them. Damn it. Ow. They're just outside of my range. Better. <laughs> Stop staggering your attacks, you dicks! Attack at the same time, so I can hit you. I'm out of magic. Alright, that's one of you. Alright, there we go. That costs way too much magic to kill you guys. 
could probably drop down here too. Maybe. Oh no, that's that place. We don't <laughs> we don't need to drop back down there. That's fine. We've been there before. Okay. How did you die? Fighting something. Killed himself. Very good. Okay. Another ladder we can take down. Another ladder we can take down. It's probably the way we want to go after that combat is over. And the gray site was down there. Okay. All right. So we're back to where we were, more or less. Message required ahead. What? Time for jumping? No, you don't have to jump. There's a ladder right here, you idiot. Okay. Anybody waiting for me? No. All right. This better not break. Okay, good. All right, nowhere to go there. Bunch of guys just died right there. That's fine. Anything back here? New. No. Okay. Wow, look at that guy. He's pin cushioned. He's got a real Leonidas thing going on here. I'm gonna wait. Because honestly, I don't want to fight him either. <laughs> Alright, he's getting annihilated. Oh, he, got, he got one attack in. Good job. Archer. Oh, you dick. <laughs> ah, you thought you could get me while I was dealing with the archer, didn't you? Didn't you? Little shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nah, that wasn't worth it. I hope they had all this time to hang everybody, and then they still have, like, a battle being waged at the same time? Nothing. Stairs up. Old... Old codger ahead. Okay, good to know. What does that mean? The guy I have to give the letter to? Hey, you doing? Any friends waiting to kill me? Okay, this is probably the guy we have to give the letter to. Hey, doing? Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. It's true. I'm Edgar, the warden of this chapel, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. So you can see how things have turned out. Yeah, things aren't going too well for you. Have all rebelled. The menials. No. But it seems it was all No wonder they rebelled. You called them menials. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Moor won't hold much longer. Well, I came here to deliver a letter. By way of apology. Ah, cheers. Sacrificial twig. Okay. Delivered a letter. From Aluna. Thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Dude. For even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must <laughs> Look, I'm on my way to kill Godric, so did not fall into the wrong hand. I have that sword. Can I just give it to him? Alright. Okay. Hmm. Do I have to find the sword then? And it's not this one? This is it. The storied sword of Castle Morn. I have it. What if I equip it? 
I equip it and talk to him? Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. That's something to check. Maybe. Alright. Was there anything else up here? Alright. That will probably require a wiki visit at some point to see if there's anything else I can do with him. Alright. There was a ladder earlier that we didn't go down, so let's do that. Back over here somewhere? There were two ladders, actually, we didn't go down. Let's go down this one first, since we're closer to this one now, so let's go down this one. I can hear the plodding footsteps of a knight. Oh, no, I can't. It's him. It's him I can hear. Okay. All right, what's down here, then? What are you even attacking? Well, start attacking me so I can attack you. Is this the other... Is this the path behind all those guys? Oh, what is that? Okay, that's the guy I saw from in the distance. He's a pumpkin head enemy. Uh, he has like a, uh, a, like a big golden cage on his head. That negates damage, so you can't hit him in the head, basically. On the other hand, he seems to just be protecting that item. Could just... Could just make a run for it. Could just make a run for it. Could just make a stealthy run for it. All good. Absolutely was not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth fighting them either. Alright, you have fun. You have fun hanging out there. Let's not deal with him. That is a very small area to fight an enemy like that. And I've only ever fought them on horseback, so I don't even don't even know. That's not true. I fought a boss type of it. Um off stream. And yeah, I'm not surprised they're considered a boss when you're on foot. <laughs> it's quite difficult. Okay, we still have to figure out how to get over there. I assume this other ladder is what leads us there. And then I think that's it for the castle. Maybe. Okay. Alright, so we know there's that guy all the way at the end, but does he have any other friends waiting? Anybody waiting to jump on me? Climbing up the walls. Is this just drop down on top of that guy? Kinda. Is there an item? No. Okay. Right, so... I knew it! I knew it! Well, look! Hey, you just got backstabbed. Hope it was worth it. So that's what killed him. That's probably what this message says. Wary of ambush, yeah. Let's piggyback on him. <laughs> Ambush ahead. Uh... Ambush ahead, okay. And get the backstab on him. And a smithing stone. Okay. We could probably push the s -talk up pretty high now. I am curious if you can get into that tower, but it doesn't look like it. 
There wasn't a way up from the outside, anyway. Okay. I think we're probably done here. I'll check the wiki later to see if I've actually missed anything. What's putting me off is that this side of grace is still pointing in this direction. It suggests I've missed something. <gasps> I don't know. Um, okay. So there is a detour we need to make before we head into Margit and try to fight him again and die again. Um, here. Head to the Murkwater Cave quickly. Okay. Put on our lantern. I think it's here anyway. So there is a cameo in this area for um, a character that's appeared in like all of the From Software games since like Armored Core he's been in all these games. Um, you probably know him if I don't have to say it. You'll, you probably already know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take him on, and normally he's just an NPC character you talk to, but in this game he's a boss. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't fought him, I haven't fought him before. I kind of I saw the messages and assumed he was in here, assumed it was him. Okay. I pick up the chest. Is that when I get attacked? <laughs> Nothing. Patches. That's him, all right. Oh. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Well, <laughs> let's just stand here and shield each other. Oh, ah, oh, he got me good. I don't want to summon because um, I don't want to kill him. I only want to get him down to a certain amount of health. And if I summon, they keep attacking, and they'll kill him, and I won't get uh, I won't get what I want. Basically, that's an NPC. Uh, his name is Patches. He's appeared in. Uh, a bunch of Dark Souls games, and he is usually the character who screws you over. He, like, his recurring trick is that he points out this thing of treasure that you, you know, it's really good, you should go get it. I am too weak to get it, but you, you definitely be able to get it. And you go to get it, and he traps you, or traps you down there with a big monster or something like that. Uh, hoping you'll die, and he'll, he can, like, steal it off your corpse or something. Um... But you don't, obviously. You make it out, and then you have to be he's like, ha ha ha, it was just a, it was just a prank, bro. Uh, and if you don't kill him, he turns into a merchant, and he is the guy for buying things that you would miss. Like, if you've gone through an area or beaten something and you forgot to pick something up or something like that. He's that kind of uh, merchant. But he also sells something important for the next boss fight, which is why I am doing this first. Okay. 
I'm back, Patches. Okay, this is working. <laughs> right, gotta be careful with the kick. Watch out for the kick. Half health, gotta get him to half health. <laughs> Finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason, true and true. <laughs> so ah. well, what do you know? You're tiny, like me. That's it, purchase. He's in a pod, you and me. Patches never change. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. So he's patch he's patches the untethered in this game, but he's normally called Patches the Hyena because of his laugh. Um and he, like the laugh he makes when he tricks you, basically. Which is hilarious. So if we go back to the last side of grace, sit down and come back, he should be ho oh, ho. That's a trap. How have I managed to miss that every time? There's another one there. Have I managed to just take the exact line where I don't, where I don't trigger those traps? Impressive. Okay. Anyway, if we sit down here, I don't. Did we get souls? Because we didn't kill them. No, we didn't. See, you don't. You don't even get runes because you didn't kill them. Okay. So I think if we. Sit down, basically reset the area. He should be a merchant now. Also, we did pick up some stuff from him, which is just cloth gear. Clothing made of coarse material, commonly worn in the lands between. Yeah, nothing major. What was the... What was the sacrificial twig? Is it just like a homeward bone type deal? No? It's not a usable item. So, this be a key item? No. Is it a talisman? It's a talisman, okay. Talisman fashioned from a dried twig, so slender that it might snap at the slightest touch, prevents rune loss upon death, but will be lost itself in exchange. Okay, so you equip this, and if you die, that gets destroyed, but you don't lose your runes. So if you're really, really worried about going through an area, I suppose, and don't want to lose your runes, that's something for you to uh, equip. So he was saying that these guys are, like, paying his fee, or, yeah, paying for his gruel, as he put it. Okay, I thought he might have, like, had them uh, stand, stand down because he was going to be a merchant now, but nah. Of course not. <laughs> not patches. Okay. 
Now, I actually don't know how much this item costs. We mightn't even have enough to buy it. Anyway, there he is. What's up, Patches? <laughs> he also uh, steals from people. Um, he steals from other NPCs in other games, and uh, you can find the stuff in his shop, basically. Off to watch the rugby. No worries, Garner. Thanks for dropping by. Be. Hmm. Well, let's get the item first before I steal from him. So, what we were looking for is that. Briefly binds Margot. Uh, fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once-bound Margot on Earth only for a short time. So that's the boss we're going up against. And this item basically stuns him for a while. Uh, you get like one or two uses, I think, and then it stops working uh, per, per attempt at the boss. So it's 5k. But what else does he have? Fan daggers. A set of five throwing knives bundled together, a concealed weapon cherished by the raptor assassins. The thin knives fan out when thrown, dealing damage to the target. Each knife deals paltry damage, but the wide range makes it suitable for constraining enemies. So yeah, even if they dodge, they'll still get hit. A grace mimic. A fetish indicating the guidance of grace. Similar to grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way, only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for use by those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. Okay, this is just for, like, finding places out in the wild. Glass shards, we have... Festering bloody finger, lovely. Can't wait to buy this. Uh, attempts an invasion of another player's world. If successful, you will arrive at a, as an invader, a bloody finger, with the objective of defeating the host of fingers. This furled finger is blackened with blood congestion. It seems to have been chopped off rather unceremoniously. So this is the invade other players world item, which I absolutely will not be using. A missionary's cookbook. I would like this, actually. I want it for this item because it teaches you how to make great uh, gold pickle foot, foul foot, gold pickled foul foot. Four toed foot of a fowl pickled in a golden medicinal solution. Boosts the amount of runes obtained from defeating enemies. So it's for like grinding. Just pop one of these and go off and kill a bunch of guys and you'll get more runes than you typically would. Parrying dagger is, um, it gives you the parry ability but on a weapon instead of on the shield. And I think it also has a slightly wider window to parry than the shield as well. So I do want to buy this. So we need 5,800. I think I have this. And it's not as good as the shield I have anyway. Ballista bolts and great arrows. You need a great bow for a great arrow. Uh, I don't have that. So I'll buy this anyway. Or not, actually. Let's make sure... Let's make sure I can... Let's make sure I can buy the Margot Shackles. Because that's the actual important item. So we need... 
we might just about have enough. Okay, now we need another 1,200. We might have to kill those bandits a couple of times. <laughs> we might have to kill those bandits a couple of times. Okay, and now 400. Which is just two of these? Yes, it's two of these. Okay, but we have enough to buy it now. We've got something on your shopping list. No, no trouble, sir. I need this. Definitely need that. And then eight. Okay, we don't have enough to buy the cookbook. So we'll come back to them later. And I am curious about that chest. But I also don't want to anger the merchant. <laughs> so let's leave a thing here. And I'll remember to come back for it and check on it in a minute. Uh, okay. Now let me put that on an item slot. Um, and take you off. Damn it. Take you off. And we'll put the shackles there instead. All right, the second thing I wanted to do in this stream was to beat this this upcoming boss because he's pretty much blocking progress for the rest of the game. Uh, he's here. Margit, the fell omen, has been kicking my ass. So I'm hoping I can beat him. Because if I can, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. Okay, I will sit down here so when we die we come back here. Okay. So we're gonna summon our wolves. Summon our wolves and then use the shackle to stun him. Then use our magic to whittle down his health. And just keep doing that. Uh, and hopefully he'll die. I haven't actually fought him on this save file yet. It's the other save file that he keeps kicking my ass on. Yep, yeah, that's me. Do they know? Do they have to? It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have to be. We can talk about this. Get them, boys. I've never gotten this far. I hate that move. It's so delayed, it's really hard to pick out.
shit, I'm out of magic. Okay. I'm running low on wolves too. Shit. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, he died. That was him. That was him that died, not me. <laughs> That's me. Meager flame tarnish. I don't like the sound of that. Well, that worked. For first try? <laughs> first try on this save file. Epic fight, well done. Yeah, thanks dogs. The dogs did all the work in that fight. I did very little. <laughs> but yeah, having, the, having that shackle stuff is obviously very useful. Oh, look at all those runes you gave me. No one I fought has given me anywhere close to that many runes. All right, we've hit 20 with that. I think... I'm not sure what to go for after that, because I am thinking, like, strength, but at the same time, there isn't actually anything I want to equip. So, like, I was thinking the, the scythe, but as it turns out, you need a ton of faith to use it. We haven't encountered anything else, though. <laughs> Dogs are lifesavers. That's it. Good old doggos. Uh, okay. How far off on the level are we? All right, we're like a thousand. We don't have enough. Okay. I've never gotten this close, or I've never gotten this uh, far before. So we'll see what Stormvale Castle's about. Stormvale Castle is another legacy dungeon type thing, only it's much, much bigger. Another side? Really? Another side of grace? Okay. There's one, there's one like, like, I can see it. I can see, I can nearly see it from here, but okay, whatever. What's this way? Not here ahead. Awesome. I'm gonna go down here anyway. Because there's an item there, but it looks like I can't reach it. Anyway. Can always just teleport back. Okay, so that item is just out of reach. And the game won't let you jump and pick up an item at the same time. A hole in the wall, that's not good. You guys should uh, get this looked at, really. And despite saying I was going to check out Stormvale Castle, I'm going the complete opposite direction. Okay, this just leads back to where we were. Cool. All right. Oh, this is a dead end also. Even better. Even better. Anything this way? I mean, you, and yeah, there is. Death. <laughs> Death is that way. Okay. Uh, we didn't check the rest of this area. Oh, a flower. Okay. All right. A Trina's lily. I'm actually kind of curious about the Trina's lily thing because they seem to appear at dead ends. They seem to appear at places that um, where you can't go any further, and I'm actually kind of curious if that is a game mechanic. Like straight up, those flowers indicate that the don't. This is as far as you can go. Okay, rather than walking all the way back up the steps again, I just, <laughs> just kind of fast travel. We could go this way. All right, there's a staircase down. Da down ahead. Very helpful, you guys. A 
Calling finger remedy, okay. Try jump attack. Absolutely not. Do not try a jump attack. Oh, that's what he meant by try right. Very good. Where's that guy? Actually, both of you. I didn't read it properly. I thought they just meant go down the staircase, but no, they meant here. Because this will lead to that item we saw. Alright, what killed you? <laughs> okay, idiot. <laughs> Not really worth it. Okay. Oh, we can't get back up there. All right. More fast travel. <laughs> More fast traveling around. It's not that we're trapped. It's just we'd have to go all the way back down the stairs and then climb back up here. Okay. We need a few more arrows. So let's make some arrows. Bone arrows. Poison arrows. Those are bolts. Can't use them. Bloodborne arrow. No, blood bone arrow. Rainbow stone arrows. These are all bolts. Let's just make some regular arrows. Uh, let's make some more regular arrows. Why not? Okay. Are they equipped? No. Alright, they're equipped now. And maybe I'll put, put the fire arrows in the other slot. Okay. It's kind of cool that you can see them in the quiver on the back. Like the red fletching are the fire arrows and then the the ones with no fletching, basically, are the bone arrows. That's fun. I do like it when games do that. Castle head. No shit. There's an item. There's several items. And when there are several items stuck together like that, that means <laughs> that it's a trap. <laughs> I've played enough Dark Souls. What? Why are you Irish? What's up? Me. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Hmm. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Well, tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. They don't know about this massive hole in the wall? Yes, that's the spirit. Are you leading me into a trap? How many under tarnish have you met, tall albino guy? Use that opening to breach the castle. Got it. The guards, you'll slip. Got it. Yes, you're just fine. Right. Okay, cool. I'm still going at this way. <laughs> All right. Is it a trap? Was he being friendly? Okay, summoning pool is now available. Not that I've ever used it, but it's there. Okay, hey up. Okay. All right. Well, he hasn't uh he hasn't betrayed us yet. Hmm. I think I can make that jump. No. I think there might be a, a... It might lead around to the side here anyway. Oh. Hold on. Careful. Uh, yeah. We hold something very helpful. I think so. I never back in upgrade to the S dock. I really should have done that. Be wary of bird. That bird? <laughs> Does it have knives in its legs? That's a bit much. It already has talons, like, did it really need all of that? 
There's another summoning pool over there. Weird. Okay, we got the summoning stone. I wonder what caused all this damage. I mean, it's probably a dragon, right? It's almost always a dragon. Okay, so I'll drop in and get killed by this bird. I'm sure that's what killed him. Probably. Dual katanas, man. Okay. Let's see if we can head around to the left and get that item that was down on the lower level. Alright, yeah, we can. And there's another bird down here, too. Alright, come on. There's no coming back. You can backstab a bird. I'm gonna try. Shit! There's two of them! <laughs> okay, you cannot backstab birds, and also the birds work in pairs. So yeah, they have swords on their legs. What the hell? <laughs> okay, is that necessary? Raptor ahead. Raptor ahead. Okay. Wow, what a waste. What a waste of an item. All right. Now, can we get back? Can we get back up? Bird. Okay, he doesn't appear to have a friend. Should maybe use my... Shit! Yes, he does have a friend. <gasps> they work in pairs. Remember that. They work in pairs. There's two of them. Is this also a trap item? No, okay. That's a good item. Fair enough. That's a good item. Our sword isn't even leveled up enough to use it. Which would suggest I should probably start leveling up my, my health. Not all these, like, massive holes in the wall. They're fighting something out at sea, apparently. Alright. As you do. Strong foe ahead. Great. This is probably what the second summoning pool is for, because there's a strong foe ahead. Oh, I see him. No, that's not him. He's just a regular enemy. Alright, did we make enough killing those birds? No. We still need another 400. <laughs> Excuse me, which we probably have. Yeah, we have enough. Might start putting it into intelligence so I can start casting some more powerful spells because I'm only using the pretty much the weakest spells at the moment. 
Be wary of ambush. What killed you? Yourself. Cool. <laughs> what about you? He's fighting something. Turned his back. Tried to run away. Got killed running away. Okay. Time for wrath. Wow, you suck. get somewhere a little easier to fight, shall we? Okay. Alright, dickhead. Ow. Right, that's why it's a powerful foe. It's not just one, it's many, many foes. Called all his buddies to come take me on. A marred leather shield. It's not as good as what I've got. Leather shield of Stormvale soldiers, much like the castle, it is marred by mottling and thorns. Some say it is the curse of grafting which causes such affliction. While others talk of its root being something altogether more sinister, hidden deep within the castle. Okay then. So, I haven't actually encountered grafting yet, but I kind of know what it is, just from trailers and such. It's that they are taking people's limbs and, like, grafting them onto themselves to give themselves more arms and more legs and more heads and stuff. It's pretty nuts. And their king, Godric, has, uh, many, many arms and legs. He's, in fact, called the Spider because of it. Alright, golden rune. Anything else out here? Be wary of up. Ah. Okay. Danger head. Yeah, let's ignore those guys then. Let's go in here. Are you enemies? Yes, yes you are. You're weak enemies though. You're dying in one hit from that. This is very, uh, this is very like the beginning of Demon Souls. Explosion, yeah, it's very like the beginning of Demon Souls. <laughs> I'm guessing those barrels blow up. That'll be my guess. Okay, we can actually take off Margaret's shackles because it doesn't work on anybody else other than him. And put the, the lantern back on. Where is the lantern? Yeah, gotta be careful not to get blown up. I assume big and blowing up is up the stairs. That's where all those barrels are. There's a guy. Probably has a friend. He's gonna turn around before I get to him. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I killed him before he got his swing out. Hook claws. Awesome. Fucking Wolverine weapons here, where are they? These might be better? If I level them up, these might actually be better than my current weapon. Alright, so we got a bit of Wolverine action. Big uppercut thing. Now, if you two-hand it, does it give you two? It does. Now we're full. We're full Wolverine now. Awesome. 
what is its power move? It's a dash. Cool. We might change to this. <laughs> we might change to this. I gotta put some points into it, but we might change to it. Okay. Break everything. Okay. All right, now we gotta go upstairs. Can I target anybody from up here? No. All right, explosion. Someone's gonna hurl something. See ya, there he goes. <laughs> He's gonna do it again. Yeah. Oh, he got very close actually. Okay. Okay, so I think they only, they died in one hit because, um, I thought that was an enemy for a second, this thing in front of us. Anyway, they only died in one hit because they weren't aware I was there, I guess. Anyway. Some more health. Okay. Explosion has stopped, hopefully. There are more of these barrels. It's just destroyed them, fuck's sake. It's just destroyed them so they don't blow up again. What's around the corner? I um, have the wrong item out. Throwing daggers. Could be Wolverine with throwing daggers. It's locked, of course it's locked. This is Dark Souls. No, it's not, it's Elden Ring. Saint Trina's arrow. Okay. All right. So there's a drop to get attack that guy. We'll come back to that because there's still some items in here. All right, how did you die? Oh, I see it now. Yeah, and then he got blown up. All right, you can see the. Can you see him? Can you see him in the down the hallway? Little shit. There he goes. Smoldering butterfly. It's like can't smell smoldering. Smell smoldering, right? Yeah, that's what I said. All right, I gotta jump for this. Or no, I could have. I suppose I could have dropped down to the other area. There's more explosive stuff there. Okay. Careful you don't yeet yourself off the thing. Oh. Nice try. I can do that too, though. Could have just dropped off there and got the item as well. By running. Does it break? Maybe. Their enemies waiting to bomb me, maybe? Probably. Under door, probably locked. What? A door that's not locked? Incredible. This room is cr oh, shit. <laughs> you little shit, whoever that was. What?
Shit. 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 Avoid that room. Ah, okay. This is the, uh, this is the, this is the Dark Souls. This is how it works. No need to waste our magic on enemies. What? <laughs> okay, back to this room. I do want my... Well, it's not like I lost a bunch of runes, but... I think I had that guy. Kinda? Maybe? Sorta? can't actually see now. Kind of wish I'd put the lantern on. Give me your back, though. Appreciate it. Okay, that was close. Right, where is the guy who locked me in here? <laughs> Rusty key, alright. So we probably would have had to come in here anyway to get that key. Curved sword talisman. <laughs> Look at all these bloodstains. Okay, curved sword talisman. Talisman depicting a curved sword on a swordsman enhances guard counters. It is said that a blind swordsman was the originator of this technique, the art of allowing one's opponent to strike so as to leave them vulnerable to a well-timed reply. Kind of looks like the Demon Souls boss. Blind warrior, something like that. He was an interesting mechanic because he was, uh, he couldn't see you, but he could hear you. So if you were stealthy enough, you could actually attack him. Easily enough. 
Is there points to doing this? No? Jumping required ahead. No shit. No. <laughs> By the looks of it, this is kind of pointless. I don't think I can make this jump. No. Okay. Guess we're going this way now, so... What killed you? Maybe he lured the, uh... Maybe he lured that knight out here. No, call in your friends. I heard him. I couldn't see him, but I heard him. Okay. It's those two guys. Remember, there is an item in the other room that we couldn't reach. So we need to find a way to get into it. Which could be this. Could be this. Already. Was there another way up? That door just said it was locked. It didn't say it was barred or anything, so maybe we use the key on that, but I just want to check if there's another way, if there's a higher level or something, so we can get to that item. It doesn't look like it. Uh, there is a higher level, but it doesn't look like there's a way to get to it from here. Okay. Alright, let's see if the rusty key works on this door. Because if it doesn't, we're <laughs> kind of at a loss of where to go. Alright. There we go. This will take us up. Can hear rats. Where you've left. Attacking ahead. Saw ya. Sneaky boy. Sneaky boy. Okay. Hey, maybe going back this way will lead us out onto the rampart so we can collect that item. Maybe. I see ya. He sees me. <laughs> He's waiting for me to attack that guy. But I'm gonna attack you instead. <laughs> okay, can I make this jump? Nope. Alright, gotta find another way to get to that item. Be over there. Or fire grease. Okay. So, yeah, we probably make this jump. Do you get in there then? Drop off that, yeah. Find a way to get over there, drop off, and then in and get that item. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Shit. 
shit. Okay, kind of glad he attacked me <laughs> while I was invincible. Jumping off. No. <laughs> God damn. Elden Ring trolls. Brick hammer. That looks very like the Kirk hammer from Bloodborne. Can't use it. Don't have enough strength. Weapon made from an ordinary stone brick, wielded by a laborer who led a rebellion and later became a champion himself. Even among other bludgeons of its size, this weapon is especially weighty. The strength of a giant is required to wield it. Yeah, it's like 31. It's a big hammer. Alright then. I mean, we can't use it, so... I'm kind of curious where we're going now, though, because that's a dead end. This didn't lead us anywhere. That's the side of grace we started at. We haven't found one since. Did I miss anything? I don't expect me to jump onto that, does he? No. Doesn't go anywhere anyway. Um Pretty sure where to go now. Oh, there's a stairs up. <laughs> that would probably help. Okay. Okay, there's one enemy, and there's probably one behind this. Maybe. He's way too exposed for there to not be a trick. Although I don't see anybody, so maybe. Alright. Silver pickled fowl foot. Forget what the silver ones do. Yeah, still no grace. Yeah, we should really have seen a sight of grace by now. That would have been nice. Or a shortcut or something. Okay, that's death. Alright, we have a staircase up. But there's also a way around. Being, no, it's not an item. Great. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, up the stairs. Okay, that guy died somehow. Figure that out. How did you die? Hmm, fighting something. How about you? Also fighting something. Confusion ahead. Nothing, okay, awesome. Well, I can hear the I can hear the stomping of a knight. I think it really is the stomping of a knight this time. Like if he doesn't have friends, we could probably take him.
He's a big guy, though. Still, we haven't still haven't found a side of grace, which isn't great. Ah, the fucking delays. I Cool, he's a dragoon as well. Excellent. <laughs> Sake. Right, now we gotta get all the way back there. Can't wait for that. Sigh. All right. I think I'll leave it there, to be honest, because that's made me pretty pissed off. <laughs> it's just gonna annoy me even further. I'll grind my face against that myself later. Um, yeah, so more Elden Ring. I've accomplished the two things I wanted to do in the stream. So we went through Castle Morn, beat the boss there, delivered the letter. I actually never delivered. We'll do that now, actually. I never delivered the letter back to Arena. So let's go do that. Uh, it's over here. Bridge of Sacrifice. Sorry, let me shrinky, shrinky dink back down. She's gone. Shit. No, she's not gone. She's dead. No shit. Well, crap. What did I do wrong? Damn it. Okay, so it looks like one of those... One of those demi-humans killed her? Because it has the cleaver? Well, that sucks. Oh well. I'll figure out what the issue is with that at some point. Alright, where's... This one. Go back to that. Okay, so yeah. We did Castle Morn. Complete, I guess completed that quest. Um, and then... We fought Margaret. First try, sort of. <laughs> First try on this save file, anyway. Uh, I thought I died in that fight, but turns out he died instead. I think we were both on one hit point at the same time or something. And I heard the somebody died noise. You know, the, the kind of tss noise that the game makes when you die. Or when any enemy dies. And I thought it was me, but it wasn't. It was Margaret. So anyway. Um, we beat him. We've gone through Stormvale Castle. No idea how big... The dungeon is. I was gonna say we're like halfway, but I've no idea. No idea. Presumably Godric is at the end of it. Godric, uh, Godric the Grafted, or Godric the Spider, because he has so many arms and legs now. Uh, possibly we'll look at him next stream, if I can get there. <laughs> if I can get there, we will. Uh, yeah. Then I don't know. I'll have to do some more scouting and see what other things we can do. Uh, on the next stream, but I will keep playing this dungeon at least Maybe after I've had a break and we'll come back to that uh, Yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys then I'll let you go for now let myself go um, We have the weekly news recap tomorrow The hour in and around 12 where we'll recap video game industry news for this week and uh, We'll figure out what schedule is for next week then okay? Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, or enjoy going to sleep, or enjoy waking up, or whatever. I don't know. Whatever time zone you're in. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.